Donna, before even boarding the plane, everyone needed to have one dose of the vaccine, a temperature check, and a negative PCR test. And when I told the person who took my information at the test clinic where the prime minister was headed, she said, does he know it's COVID? So clearly some mixed opinions on the decision to travel overseas. My brother just lost all his legs and all his fingers. Jonathan Mason feels helpless. Closed borders means he can't visit his brother in the U.S., but he still supports the person who closed the borders in crossing them. I think it's very important that he starts to show the world that, um, that we're not going to let this virus control us. Justin Trudeau is representing Canada overseas for the first time since the pandemic began, to the U.K. for the G7 and then to Brussels for NATO and an EU summit. About half a dozen people from the prime minister's office are taking flight. Everyone, including the PM, will be subject to regular tests and other safety protocols. And when they return, the two-week quarantine applies to all, though the Conservatives aren't happy the mandatory hotel stay will be in Ottawa, not one of the four approved cities for international flights. He shouldn't travel to the UK. He should stay at the same hotel that everyone else has to, or he should scrap the hotel quarantine program. If there's one person who should be considered essential, it should be uh, our prime minister. A former conservative a foreign affairs minister dangerous. says the prime minister shouldn't have to quarantine at all. So let's not be partisan. Justin Trudeau should be there. It's important for Canadians that he's there representing our country, our values and our interests. Unlike some bigger summits, the G7 offers more opportunities for informal connections. Critical in person, says a former personal representative to Trudeau. But you can have a minute or two just in a, in a corridor uh, or on a, in a stairwell, uh, as, as I have had in the past, and work out a solution to uh, to a problem or get Senator Peter Beam says people aren't as candid or engaged in virtual meetings due to security issues but still for the prime minister who so often said this now is not the time to travel the trip leaves some Canadians unimpressed like this couple regular snowbirds forced to skip the last trip to Florida you won't let any of us go anywhere <laughs> And on that quarantine hotel, his office will only say that he's following public health guidelines. Trudeau himself said he was staying in a, quote, government-approved airport hotel. But no such venues exist in Ottawa, according to the government's own website. Donna? Abigail Beeman, thanks.